Same information for 23 for the same signal emitted by a radio antenna. Observer A measures its intensity to be 16 times the intensity measured by observer B. The distance of, of observer A from the radio antenna is what fraction of the distance of observer B from the radio antenna? So 16 times the intensity. So that means that uh, observer A has a certain intensity let's call it I sub A and it comes from the same signal so same power 4 pi but this is that distance squared also observer B would have the same form 4 pi radius b squared, distance b squared. Um, okay. Furthermore, ia is 16 times of, I, of ib. That's what they're telling us, 16 times. So one thing they're telling us is that the intensity for a is 16 times the intensity for b. Okay, so this is simply 16 IV is all that. So one thing I could do is I can multiply this side by 16. So 16 here, 16 here, and I have 16 IV equals that, 16 IV equals that. So these two are going to be equal to each other. So let's write that down. Over here, uh, P over 4 pi R A squared is the same as 16 P over 4 pi R B squared. Okay. Uh, so just comparing them, we can multiply everything by 4 and everything by pi and divide everything by p. So this is a 1 now. This is a 16. You end up with this 1 over ra squared. 1 over ra squared is equal to 16 over rb squared. So we're almost at the end. Let me erase some of this stuff so I can clear some room. From here you can cross multiply. You get 16 times RA squared, 16 times RA squared is equal to 1 times RB squared. And we're trying to express RA in terms of RB so let's divide both sides by 16. So RA squared is equal to r b squared over 16 but that's not the answer the 1 16th is not the answer we have to square root both sides and you would get r a is r b over 4 why 4 because um, this This is actually the same as square root RB squared over square root 16. That's why it becomes RB over 4. So finally we have RA equals 1 fourth of RB. This is the same as 1 fourth times RB. So it's 1 fourth the distance. So the answer is A.